Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Girl, listen, we have some tea for you today. So let me introduce myself. My name is Sebastian. I spill pop culture tea every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. Hit that subscribe button, grab a snack and a drink. Listen, tell me why I have... Okay, listen, girl, listen, all right. So there's a rumor going around, and I am telling you guys... I am your pop culture guru, but I'm also a debunker, okay? And, um, oh, not my, pi uh, girl, yes, um, also my co-host, my pimple, um, my, my, my pimple cream on, girl, yeah, his name is, his name is Ralph. His name is Ralph, and he's just stuck to me, and he's a survivor, and he's not going anywhere, bitch, okay? He's just hanging on me like I owe him money. Anyways, um, so there's a really big rumor going around that allegedly Jordan Woods, a.k.a. Kylie's ex-best friend, has admitted or talked about how allegedly Kris Jenner paid $800,000 to Selena Gomez's makeup artist to make her look orange like an Oompa Loompa at the 2018 Met Gala, okay? That is the rumor. I'm saying obviously allegedly. And I literally, you guys, I have searched high and low in fucking corners. I've been swimming, bitch. I was like, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. I've been trying to get the facts, honey. There is nowhere I have seen Jordan Woods talk about this. They, this, it seems to me, in my opinion, to be a makeup, um, a, a made up uh, rumor, okay? So I searched for Selena Gomez talking about, um, you know, the makeup look. So I search and I search and I search. And I found an actual video. I'm not sure what she was doing, but it was a live. She was on a live and she talked about that moment, you know, with her makeup. So I'm going to play you guys the video and then we can talk. I was getting ready and we wanted to add some color. So put on some of this like tanning lotion and it, you know, looked really beautiful and very even. As the evening kept going on, it was getting a little darker and darker and I didn't notice it. And I'm at the back gala. I'm walking, trying to look all beautiful. And I look at a photo of myself when I sit down and I'm completely orange. <laughs> And I was like, this is going to be terrible because I'm going to get eaten alive. So I had my security take a video of me because my first reaction was just to get the hell out of there. <laughs> I'm running to my car and I put it on online and I was saying this is my reaction after seeing my Met Gala photos. <laughs> so listen, okay, okay, girl, listen, first of all, now, would I think that Kris Jenner would do something like this? Did I blink? No, but for real, I don't know. Okay, Code, so listen, let's switch it back, back in the day, okay? There was a lot of drama going around, all right? I'm working on a huge video of Selena versus the Kardashians. There is so much you guys don't know, and maybe you do know, but I am going deep, bitch. I am deep diving, bitch. I don't even have my snorkel. I have the tank, okay? I'm deep diving in this damn shit, all right? I am not Jasmine. I am Aladdin. I don't know why I like doing that. Um, So I'm doing like a deep dive, okay? But you guys have to understand something. They, they have a history, okay? History. And that's why this rumor came about because allegedly there was issues between Kylie, Kendall, and uh, Selena. And Chris allegedly wanted to get back at Selena. Now listen, do I think that Chris Jenner is a mama bear and she would do anything for her daughters? Yes. I do think she would do just about anything. But I, in, you know, in my heart, I don't want to believe that somebody would do something like that. And $800,000 to make someone look like a damn Oompa Loompa bitch, damn. Now listen, um, Selena Gomez obviously joked about this. And I, you know, I say Oompa Loompa bitch because I have had my share moments of these tan things. And it is so true. Some tan lotions, you, when you first apply them, girl, they give you a beautiful shade. But then... Girl, it is literally an Oompa Loompa, orange as fuck. And I have the proof here, okay? I did this thing on um, for Jubilee about I had to pretend to be a, a Beyonce hater. And I had the same issue. I wore this cream and I was like, you know, looking super gold and stuff. When I got there, I noticed it was getting darker and darker and darker and darker and darker. And this is how I ended up. I'm gonna put it somewhere here. Um, so future Sebastian bitch, I hope you're doing that, okay? Um, so, you know, Selena Gomez talked about it. She said, you know, 
it was basically an accident, you know, she didn't she didn't um get to see it until she was sitting down and she wanted to leave um there was a lot of backlash actually that happened back in the day people even like went as far to say she was um she was black, which is so crazy um i think honestly like shit happens do i think chris jenner did this i don't know bitch i don't know because you know what i've noticed hollywood is crazy hollywood is crazy but I also feel in my heart that this is a rumor. So I don't think Chris Jenner did this. I think it honestly was an honest mistake from a makeup artist. But you know what I don't understand? And this is what I truly don't understand is if, you know, these people have their crews, like they have people around them, you know, they they're sitting in tables with all these other celebrities you know they have friends in the in the you know in the in the business how come nobody came to Selena and said girl you are orange you know a true friend would be like girl let me let me put some powder on you honey because you are literally giving orange hello wouldn't a true friend do that put some you know little powder on you um and you know she said that when she sat down at the table she she herself looked at a picture and said i have to get out of here so i'm just wondering that's the part that makes me wonder, how come nobody around her told her anything? How come her crew, her glam squad didn't say anything? That is what pisses me off. And, you know, and that's why, like, I, I don't want to believe that this is, uh, this, this is real, but it really gets me thinking that, you know, how come her makeup artist, knowing that, you know, they are doing Selena Gomez for the Met Gala, one of the most important things in the whole world and throughout the whole year, he, they should know what products they're using. You know what I mean? So that's the thing. Like, that's the issue I am seeing with this. I really, truly feel like, you know, if it was someone who had her best interest, interest, they would say they would have said something to her. Nobody said anything to her. She didn't mention anything that anybody said to her. Like, damn, nobody can come up to her and say, girl, let's go to the bathroom real quick, bitch. You are literally, you know, the sun, okay? <laughs> like, for real. And, you know, it just sucks because I, I really do feel like people prey on good people. You know, when you're, when you're not nice, you prey on them. And I really do feel like Hollywood is so dark. And you know why I feel like nobody said anything to her? Because I feel like nobody fucking cared enough to say it. I feel like nobody has her back. And I feel like that's why she fights so, or she goes so hard for Taylor, because she knows that Taylor and her have each other's back. You know what I mean? So listen, do I think that this is real? I didn't find any proof on this, okay? Do I think it could be a reality? I don't know, you guys. Anything is possible in Holly Weird, okay? But I can tell you that these creams, girl, they do. They do the work. And you do go from, you know, a gold rush to fucking, you know, Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Seriously, go. Listen, that is my dream. That is my dream to go to this damn fucking factory. I wouldn't last two seconds, bitch, because I would not get the key to that factory because I would have been the first one out. I would have been the first one kicked out, but you know damn well. I would have gone out with so much fucking chocolate all up. I would have put chocolate in my pocket, in my in my hair, in everywhere, bitch. You know, you. I would fucking get a BBL. I would look like I just got a BBL, but it's all chocolate stuff, bitch. Um, but anyways, what do you guys think? I mean, listen, I, really, I didn't find anything on this, okay? Nothing on this. Do I think that some people are capable of a lot? I do think think so and i also don't understand how come nobody told her nobody in her team she mentioned she had security so how come nobody in her security her glam squad listen these glam squads they go everywhere with the celebrities okay so i just don't get it how come nobody said anything to her that is what i don't understand and her makeup artist being so you know professional and and, and obviously has to be someone big how come they didn't like anticipate that this was going to happen with this cream you know what i mean I don't know. It is suspicious. I would tell you. It is suspicious. I would say it, okay? But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And those creams, honestly, they're really good. I don't mind looking like super tan, but you have to be super careful with, you know, with not turning orange, right? Because again, you don't want this to happen. So future Sebastian, put that picture of us in the past because that's just too much. Um... And uh, yeah, I mean, the comments I got from that video were horrible, you guys. Not only because Beyonce fans were after me, but like people were saying that I was I was uh, looking like an Oompa Loompa and, you know, not saying that I was looking like an Oompa Loompa because of my skin. They were also fat shaming me. Like it was a whole thing. Um, but anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.